Hi everybody, uh, I wanted to show you where I'd taken apart a front spindle or a front hub assembly off of a 2004 Dodge Ram. This would actually about be about the same construction as the rear hub on a front wheel drive car. Uh, one of the interesting things about this is it's splined, so it does the four wheel drive and two wheel drive. Um, you can see there's a hub here that's turning, um, of course normally this would be the part turning that would be fixed bolted to the spindle that's where your ABS sensor is of course you can't see down in there but there's a toothed wheel down in there that uh, it's picking up the uh, rotation of that um, if you look at this thing uh, kind of interesting they don't want you getting inside of it because there's really nothing you can do so it says warning do not disassemble and this is the original equipment which it was Timken um, honestly, I, before I took the truck apart, I didn't know what was in it. So I thought I was getting a better brand and ordered Timken because I wanted a superior brand. But uh, looks like I got the same thing that's on it. So I'm hoping this set of wheel bearings, this this set of hubs will last longer than the last set. Um, I got this stacked up basically the way it came apart. This is the seal that uh, seals the inner bearing race to the hub itself. Um, in here, of course, if the bearing was down in there, you'd have all the rolling elements going around in here. And that's the cage that goes with that bearing. Um, this seal is a two-piece design. Like I say, the actual sealing surface is down inside here, and I'll show you that. Okay, see the seal coming off of there? The seal rides down in here, seals to that surface, and like I say, that's, that is pressed onto that, that's pressed onto the, and rotating with that. Um, like most seals, I'm sure there's a garter spring in here, there it is. And that keeps the lips of the seal preloaded on the uh, running surface in there. Uh, garter spring is not one continuous spring. It's actually uh, two sections, or one long spring that's put together. If you look at this end right here, there's a low spot. You can unscrew that, and that's how they're put together. Since the pitch is the same, you can just screw them together. Um, basically, they just thread together. All right, and here is the hub. Um, this would be the outer bearing side, and um, as you can see, it's in fairly good shape. The grease in here was still fairly moist. Um, it hadn't dried out completely. But as you're looking around, if you get to this spot, you can see there is a area that's got some raised metal that's about to come out of there. So uh, that's from the rollers rolling over it. Um, interesting thing is that's straight across from a screw hole. You can see the heat treat marks. None of these are cups that are pressed in. This is all ground into that hub. Uh, probably, after, I'm sure, after they've heat treated it, after they've gotten it hard in those areas. This is the side, uh, the outer side. Again, it's uh, fairly good shape till you get over here beside this screw hole. And guess what? There's an area that's completely missing. Um, see if you can get to where you can see that. Yep. So the rollers were rolling over this area and um, eventually pounded that metal out of there. If you go to Timken's website, they've got some bearing troubleshooting information there. And if you look right there, uh, that that type of damage says that's caused by high spots in the cup seats and the uh, elements rolling over it eventually fatigue it and knock them out of there. So makes me wonder if there was something wrong with the way they uh, grounded or um, had it chucked up so that it created a high spot there. This would be the cage for the bearing that's part of this hub that sits in this hub. Uh, looks like they drop the rolling elements in there, get them all in there and then they force this cage down over there. Um, this right here is the seal that it's a face seal. Okay. So this side of the hub, it presses over that, and then it seals directly to the hub. So that's how that one works. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a garter spring in it. 
don't see anything but it, it does look like just a, a face seal um, if you look at the hub itself uh, that inner race is in really good shape the sealing surface is good so I don't think any water intrusion or anything like that that's your toothed wheel for your uh, pickup on your ABS brakes and that's pretty much all of it interesting how they made it uh, basically did away with all the normal bearing pieces that you probably would have in uh, early 80s mid 80s cars whatever um, the only traditional bearing looking parts are the elements in this uh, outer race so hope you enjoyed the view of uh, the inside of a hub and thanks for watching